some of the smartest people in the world. You think they're smart, but what makes you think they're smart is because they don't talk all the time. Listen to what Job says about his friends. In Job chapter 12, Job is going to complain and sarcastically kind of complain about his friends. He's replying to Zophar specifically and the other friends, and he says, Okay, you are the people. You people have all the wisdom, basically. And he's really saying this, you know, the proof of wisdom is in your life. Anybody can memorize a proverb, and that's what they did. He said, the stuff you're saying, everybody knows. Anyone can just say a proverb. But it's wisdom in applying it and wisdom in life that makes you wise. And then he complains, look, I am mocked and ridiculed by my friends. It reminds you of Jesus on the cross. The chief priests are mocking and ridiculing uh, Jesus. Then Job says something in chapter 13 that really ought to make us pause. He says, if you would just be silent, that would be your wisdom. James put it this way. Let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. Whether you're counseling a friend, whether you're in a conversation, and in a conversation so often you're cutting people off, and I, I listen to conversation, and someone's finishing a sentence, and someone's cutting someone off, our way of communicating is so unwise in this generation. Why don't you today make it your prayer? that you would be swift to hear, slow to speak, and definitely slow to get angry. And just see what success you have. I'll bet you as a counselor, you'll do twice as well. I'll bet you as a teacher, you'd be five times as great. And as a friend, a husband, a wife, it'll be amazing. They'll be saying, are you sick? What's wrong with you? Try this out today and see the wisdom of Job in your life played out today.